Greetings and welcome to a new video. We will discuss in this video uh, nonlinear equations, a set of nonlinear equations, how to solve them. In particular, we will look at nonlinear equations with two unknowns. And these equations are encountered in power electronics and specifically in inverting designs. Of course, we will look at it step by step and work it out, the solutions. And I also show you how you can present it in a uh, for example, a calculator screen. So how we, can, how we can solve it there in a calculator. But you can also solve it in any other program like MATLAB or any other simulation. So let's see what we can do. In this example, we have simultaneously two nonlinear equations and these are the following. We have the cosine of three alpha one plus the cosine of three alpha two, so two unknowns is equal to zero. You can already see this is a nonlinear equation. The second equation is the cosine of alpha one plus the cosine of alpha 2 is 1.6. Okay, now let's designate also the equations by numbers 1 and 2, and we would like to solve the alpha 1 and alpha 2. Now this alpha 1 and alpha 2 are also called the delay angles in the inverting design, but you can also consider this as a very simple or pure mathematical operation. So let's see and how we can work it out, the solutions. Now, we can first write down or rewrite equation number two, that is one of the options, in form that we can eliminate or designate the alpha one and the rest of the parameters. So we can say alpha one, the cosine of alpha one, is equal to 1.6 minus the cosine of alpha two. So we bring this part to the right side. You can see that in this step. And then I will take the inverse cosines of the arc cosine of the left and the right hand side, you will get now the alpha 1 eliminated so it is now isolated actually so we can see the l alpha 1 is equal to the r cosine of this expression now let's designate also this by equation number 3 okay now substitute now equation number 3 in the equation number 1 we haven't used yet so only equation number 2 is used let's do that equation number 3 in equation number 1 what happens in this alpha 1 here, we replace that by this long equation we have in equation number 3. Why we do that? If you do that, you will get an expression with only one unknown, in this case alpha 2, and that can be solved. Maybe not using hand calculations, but it can be solved, and this is not solvable because we have two unknowns. So if I look at it, I can see that there's only one unknown, and this part, starting here, from the dot by the multiplication all the way here to the second parentheses here that is the alpha one we have inserted from equation number three now we can solve this using a solver for example the calculator or any other program uh, you can use now we have the following situation if i now work it out you can also see the solution here in the graph form this is from the text instrument uh, emulator you can see that from the graph we have the alpha 2 is 0 0.1306 radians this is radians because we consider the cosine as the rate uh, in you know, as an argument for radians and this is also shown here rounded off so it is a little bit more uh, accurate here shown here so this is given and if i now convert this to degrees you will get 7.482 now once we have the alpha 2 we can calculate now alpha 1 we know alpha 1 is expressed in equation number 3 here. So if I now substitute the alpha 2, we have just determined. So it will be then alpha 1 is equal to r cosine of uh, 1.6 minus the cosine of this, what we have just determined. Of course, you can get a more accurate result if you keep that value on your display of your screen of the calculator and then calculate this uh, alpha 1 value, which is then 0 0.9166 radians or in degrees 49.35 degrees and that can be also seen because we have actually here two intersections so the other one is shown here so another display you can see 0.9166 a little bit more that is more accuracy of course in the calculator and that is this now in summary you have the alpha 1 and alpha 2 alpha 1 is in this case larger than alpha 2 but that doesn't matter but we have just choose chosen that alpha 1 is this if you have made this alpha 2 and this alpha 1 you work it out you will get, of course, the uh, exact same solution, but then you call this alpha 1 and this alpha 2. It doesn't really matter. You can also call it A and B or X and Y or P, Q. That doesn't really matter. You only have to need your two solutions, which is an alpha 1 and alpha 2 in this case. Now we have it. Let's also see this in the 
calculate itself. So how we can work it out there and solve that there. So let's now jump to the calculate itself. We have the calculator here. So this is the display of the text instrument calculator. This expression here for y1 is the left side of this expression. You can see that here, cosine of this complete thing, etc. And then plus cosine of 3 alpha 2. That's shown here. So I will come here. You can see that this is indeed what we have there. Okay. And there is an r cosine and 1.6 minus etc. So everything is there. And also the final part, cosine of 3x. So the x is here, the alpha 2. The y2 is then the right hand side of this equation, which is 0. Now we need to solve this. And if I solve this and I have then alpha 2. Okay, how can we do that? Uh, I first start with uh, always a table. So let's start for example from 0 and then make a steps of 0 0.1. Then I go to table, second table. So first, second table set. That's table set. So you set up and then you do take on second table. You can see what you have and you can then designate where the intersections might be. You can see from 0 to 0 0.1. This is still positive, so it is not zero. But if I go from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, then this is positive and the next entry is negative. So there must be a intersection with the x-axis. So that must be something here in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, there is some zero. So I can then plot that and I can also see that if I go on to uh, larger values for x, so you can see if I go down, go down, go down, go down, go down, there's also some error, so at some point it doesn't is not defined anymore. But in here, between 0 0.9 and a little bit larger, we have also seen it in the discussion here. There's also solutions, so we can then plot this from x, 0, up to 1. That is the choice. And then you can also designate that you say, okay, I will also have a y, which is then between minus 1 to 1. But you can also a little bit decrease that to make it a little bit larger your screen. So let's start with the window. Now you'll do from 0 to 1. I already said that here. And then we can say also, let's do also minus 0. Point, well now let's say 8 maybe up to 0. 0.5. Maybe 0. 0.5 is too much. We'll see. Let's plot this. You can see what's happening. This is the plot. This is the left hand side of this equation. This is the complicated expression. And the 0 will be just through this x axis. So you can see it stops there because it's not defined anymore. This is, I think, perfectly fine. We can, of course, uh, make it a little bit better. And then we have this uh, a little bit larger, but that doesn't matter. We can now click on trace. So you can see there is something blinking. There's a dot there in the on the graph. Now, if I know that this is an intersection around here and this is an intersection around there. So we have two intersections, which is also shown here. Now, how can I, how can I solve this? So uh, we can now do the following. I can move all the way there using this cursor and use second calculate so calculate and then choose the option five which is intersection so i can click on it five directly or can you also move towards that option and then do enter now he is now asking you what is the first curve because we have two curves to make the intersection this is the curve he already chosen so i can click on it enter what is the second curve? You've already seen that it jumps automatically to the second curve because now it's y to zero. So you only do also enter. He's asking you now, now what is your guess? What, what is the solution? Is there somewhere here? Maybe a little bit to the left or right hand side. Now you can just click or uh, press enter because it's really close to the actual intersection. So we can we do enter and it will calculate in a couple of seconds the value we have just determined also here. And also here, you can see that here, that is the value. Okay, if I now look to the next one, which is then 0 0.9, etc. So we can also directly click 0 0.9 and enter there. We can go closer and then again do second calculate and then now five and now do a little bit faster. Enter, enter, enter. And now you have your solution also we have here seen. So now you have also seen via the demonstration from the calculator that these solutions were indeed correct. If you have any questions about this example, please let me know. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you next time in another video. Take care.